Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2008 Japanese action and drama movie called Ichi. This movie follows the story of a blind young woman who secretly has excellent sword skills and is involved with a group of bandits. The movie begins with a blind woman, or goes in Japanese, named Ichi, who makes a living by being a singer. Her pretty face attracts a man who once saw her performance and made her his mistress. However, he attempted to sexually assault her one night, resulting in her defending herself by cutting his fingers using a katana sword. Sometime later, she is talking to her friend, who is also a goes, but she does not seem to pay attention. She sits by herself on a patio, petting a cat while her friend is having sexual intercourse with a man. However, that man refuses to pay her and she is beaten by him and his men for demanding her money. The men discover Ichi sitting outside and are allured by her beauty. Before they can get their hands on her, a traveling samurai, Fujihira Toma, appears, stopping their intentions. The men, who are bandits, do not seem threatened by his presence, in fact, they mock him. Attempting to defend himself in Ichi, Toma tries to draw his sword but fails. Ichi then defeats the men swiftly and leaves. Toma tries to follow her and offer her protection by being her bodyguard, but she does not say anything. The deceased men possess a kind of tattoo on their arms. They arrive at Bito in town. A boy, Kotaro, greets Ichi and offers to take her to an inn, but she asks to be guided into a gambling parlor instead, seemingly looking for someone. Toma follows her from behind and engages in a gamble. Almost losing all his money to a group of bandits, Ichi helps him by whispering her guesses, which turn out to be always correct. Winning a lot of money in the end, Toma and Ichi leave the parlor, only to be followed by the same group of bandits. They accuse him of cheating and demand their money back. Ichi notices they have the same tattoos as her previous attackers. Toma, again, failing to draw his sword, relies on Ichi's skill to defend themselves. She effortlessly kills the bandits, which Kotaro finds fascinating. Then, a group of Yakuza who run the inns, the Shirakawa clan, come by to see the incident. The son of the clan's leader, Toraji, assumes Toma is the one who defeated all the bandits and asks him to be Shirakawa's bodyguard. Kotaro wants to correct him but Ichi forbids it. Toma goes with the Shirakawa while Ichi continues her journey. Kotaro convinces Ichi to come to his house by saying that his father knows about a blind swordsman, someone Ichi is looking for. His dad, who turns out to be a drunk person, explains that the government inspector, Kataoka Sama, will be in town in three days as part of his tour, and a celebration is planned. That is when Ichi may find the person she is looking for, if she stays, and maybe get some money by working as a performer. Meanwhile, the bandits, called Bankito, discover the bodies of their slain comrades, and their leader, Bonki, identifies the same wounds in all of them. He deduces that the samurai has a signature backhand stroke. Toma is generously treated and offered food at the Shirakawas, they even invite Ichi to perform in front of him and the others. She begins a mellow song but Taraji quickly dismisses it, asking for a more cheerful tone to lift Toma's spirits. However, after the performance, Ichi refuses to talk to Toma and leaves as soon as Kotaro comes to pick her up. The next day, Toma accidentally meets Taraji's father and boss, the leader of the Shirakawa, Kobe. Although he is a Yakuza, he admits to being afraid of Banki and his powers. The rumor says that one cannot look at him in the face or they will get defeated, due to his severely burned face being so menacing. The Shirakawa are counting on Toma to defeat Banki, because his bandits have long disturbed the peace of the in town and driven visitors away. In the afternoon, Toma meets Ichi and Kotaro who are fishing by the lake. He curiously asks her why she would not want to be involved with anything or anyone, to which she replies that blind people like her do not understand boundaries and cannot clearly distinguish between bad and good people. She also actually does not like kids but they are more trustworthy than adults. She almost abruptly leaves but then Toma asks her to fight him using a wooden stick. She accepts it, and turns out Toma is a much better swordsman than she is. However, he is always traumatized to draw his katana due to him accidentally hurting his mother when he trained as a little boy, causing her to go blind. Back in town, the people are busy preparing for the inspector's arrival. The inspector arrives and is immediately escorted to watch a kabuki performance. However, the Bankito bandits have also arrived and started a riot during the celebration to draw the man who had slain their members. They drive the inspector away and aim to kill the Shirakawa. Taraji tries hard to protect his father, while Toma struggles to help but is still unable to draw his sword. Unfortunately, Kobe is killed and Toma is knocked unconscious. They are unsure that Toma is the man they are looking for but decide to bring him anyway. 
However, Ichi stops them and claims that she is the one having slain the bandits. She proves herself by slaying some of the Bankito men before they agree to take her to meet Banki. Brought before him, Ichi is once again asked to prove that she is the great swordsman Banki is looking for. After defeating two more Bankito, Banki finally stands up and draws his katana. He says that he once knew a man having the same backhand stroke as her, but he passed away from a disease. That man, Zatoichi, a great blind swordsman, is who Ichi is looking for. He then defeats her easily, leaving her fatally wounded. Meanwhile, Toma is beaten by the surviving Shirakawa clan due to being unable to protect him in the previous assault, but Toraji disapproves of them, saying they need all the help they can get to defeat the Bankito. Meanwhile, Ichi is left to die on a pile of rotten corpses, but Banki secretly walks to her and whispers that if she lives, he will take care of her. She slightly moves her hand after he left, reaching for a small bell given by Zatoichi when she was little, however it slips out of her hand and is lost. She flashbacks to her childhood, turns out she was blind from birth and spent most of her time with Zatoichi, doing chores and secretly training with swords and sticks. Because he traveled a lot, she was left in the care of a group of Goes, who taught her to sing and play instruments. One day, the Goes performed and one man was particularly fascinated by Ichi's beauty, causing him to assault her. She was expelled from the group, and later she defended herself from the man who assaulted her too. Since then, she wanders to find Zatoichi again, who she believes is her father, then meets Toma along the way. Meanwhile, Toma attempts to save Ichi, with the help of Kotaro's father. They set ablaze their path so the Bankito could not follow them. Banki asks for Ichi back, but Toma, after proclaiming his name, refuses to do so and leaves. Banki swears revenge. Finally waking up, Ichi quickly sits up although she is still badly hurt, and cries about how she desperately wants to see Zatoichi one last time, as that is the only thing avoiding her to end her own life because she does not have reasons to live anymore. Hearing that, Toma consoles her, convincing her that she should live. She rests again, allowing Toma to slip out and help the Shirakawa fight the Bankito. Taraji and his men are preparing to fight the Bankito. He tells Toma not to run away again this time. He is aware that the Bankito far outnumber them by two to one, however, he encourages his men to at least kill two bandits before they are defeated. Banki and his men finally arrive, and a battle ensues. Both sides suffer heavy losses, however, Toma still fails to draw his sword despite the horror he witnesses. Meanwhile, Ichi wakes up and discovers that Toma has gone missing. Kotaro tells him about the fight in town and she quickly leaves to help. Banki exclaims that Toma steps forward and gives Ichi to him. Toraji almost takes his place as he seems nowhere to be found, but then he appears and is finally able to overcome his fear and draw his katana. They engage in a sword fight, ending with both fatally wounded. Ichi appears and quickly comes over to Toma, seeing him die in her arms after saying that she must not lose hope. Banki manages to get up and attempts to attack her but now she is prepared and successfully defeats him. The remaining surviving Bankito flee for their lives and peace is restored in Bito in town. Sometime later, Taraji assumes the clan leader position, after his late father, and rebuilds the town. Ichi and Kotaro visit Toma's grave, where Ichi plays his favorite song, the slow melody she performed once at the Shirakawa residence. She intends to go to Toma's clan to place his sword on his mother's grave, so she bids farewell to Kotaro. Before leaving, she gives him the same small bell Zatoichi once gave her for a keepsake. Kotaro asks whether he will see her again, to which she only replies with a smile. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.